Hey everybody, this is Paul from Boosted Films with five tips for building an Evo roller. As most of my subscribers know, I've spent about the last two years building an Evo roller, so these are some tips that I picked up that I'd like to share with you guys. Now first you might be asking, well, what is a roller? Well, in the car community, generally speaking, a roller is a car that comes with no drivetrain. Now in the case of an Evo, the drivetrain is more than just the engine and transmission. It can include transfer case or rear differential, stuff like that. And that actually leads perfectly into my first tip, which is to know what you're buying. So if you're shopping around and looking at pricing for different Evos, you really wanna know what's included with the car you're buying. Does it come with a rear differential? Does it come with the rear CV shafts? Does it come full interior? Does it come with front bumpers, headlights, brake calipers, stuff like that? Those pieces can get very expensive on an Evo. So you really wanna know what you're getting when you're looking at buying an Evo roller. Tip number two, it's gonna probably take more parts than you think to put this thing together. Tying in a bit to tip number one, it's gonna depend on what you all bought with the car. So little things are gonna add up along the way that you're gonna to need to buy. Throw out bearing, a clutch, brake lines, other hoses, fuel lines, stuff like that can really start to add up and it's just little things you probably aren't thinking about when you first go to buy the car. Now OEM parts are probably gonna be the most expensive when you're looking into these miscellaneous items that you'll need, but oftentimes they're really gonna be the best bet for quality and what you really want to get. Sometimes you can get away with certain parts being used OEM parts, uh, but oftentimes you're gonna wanna look to buy some new OEM parts. Tip number three, maintenance before modifications. Now when you're first building the car, you might have big dreams of obtaining seven, 800 horsepower and you wanna throw in this big, huge turbo. But I would suggest for the sake of just getting the car running that when you first start out, try not to do any huge modifications to the car. Even when I built my roller, I picked up a set of stock injectors because I really just wanted to get the car in good running condition before I started doing some major modifications. So the less modifications you have in the beginning is probably gonna make it easier and a little smoother to get the car going towards the end. And that also ties into maintenance. I mean, now is the best time to do some of these maintenance items. It's a lot easier to do a timing belt job with the engine already out of the car. So you might as well do things like timing belts and fluid changes. Do all that stuff now while it's easier to do. Again, the cost might add up a little bit, but it should be worth it in the end, especially if you plan on keeping the car for a long time. Nuts and bolts, you'll need some. And metric nuts and bolts in the US can be a little bit expensive and sometimes hard to find. So a tip I have for this is if you have a junkyard nearby or if you have even just miscellaneous metric nuts and bolts from an old DSM, a lot of times those will work. A DSM being a Mitsubishi Eclipse, a Eagle Talon, Plymouth Laser, a lot of those cards had similar bolts that should work while you're building an Evo. And if you actually search back in one of my old Evo build blog videos, you'll see I had a box of bolts from uh, an old 1G Talon that I had and basically I ripped that car apart and had a whole bunch of bolts and nuts from that car and that came in very handy when I was building the Evo just so I had these metric nuts and bolts available. Otherwise, if you want to go to places like Fastenal or again, get OEM parts, the prices, it'll, it'll add up fast, but you can go there to get the bolts too if you need them. And the fifth and final tip is to get a service manual. I can't even tell you how many times people ask me for torque specs and stuff like that. Well, the easiest way to get torque specs is a service manual. Now you can buy a hard copy service manual online if you want a hard copy. Otherwise, uh, I have a link in the description down below to a PDF version of the service manual. So if you wanna just download a PDF version of the service manual for free, you can download that and you'll have that ready. And it's got a lot of information that can be useful to you while you're building your car. So that's it, those are my five tips for building an Evo roller. Now if you've built an Evo yourself, you have some experience, if you have tips and tricks that you've learned, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. We can try to keep the discussion going. And of course, the final tip, uh, if you haven't watched my Evo build blog series, that can probably give you a bunch of little tips along the way. If you're planning to build your own, you can go back and watch some of my old videos. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, stuff like that. If you wanna message me on Instagram with a specific question, feel free to do so as well. So that's it for this video. This is Paul from Boosted Films saying thanks for watching. What's your favorite car?